Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Attar, here we are at the Lost Echo Cave. Here to observe the new ebony war hammer that you've been given. You've what been can I do for struggling. you, Struggling. You've been struggling with two-handed weapons. I suppose the headman's axe isn't exactly what one would take into combat. Can I help you? So, let's see how you do with the ebony war hammer. Now, I'm also here as a favor to you. Apparently Let's get going. your former roommate, Yala, has lost her orcish mace. And I'm here to help. I appreciate that. And reports indicate that it was last seen in the hands of a... Not sure who, but coming here... What can I do for you, friend? ...to Lost Echo Cave. All right, let's go. I'm, I'm sure you're getting tired of me talking. Come on. This should be an in and out mission. the last time you spoke with Yala? Is it Yala or is it Jala? Okay, you don't have to answer. Look at this. An excavation site. Let's get going. My appetite for excavation has been wetted. All right. Yes, let's go Can ahead and get you? the... Wait a minute. Who? Was that a man standing there? Hello, citizen. I'm Knight Zaquan of the Vigilant of Stendar, and I'm here with... Vigilant Atar. What? Sir, let me ask you something sweet. What makes a mortal give a promise that he can't keep? Is he a dreamer, a liar, or a fool? A liar. People make false promises to comfort others or benefit themselves. You're right, Fetcher. A lying tongue is like a snake. A thin rope of scales that slithers down his chin and coils around his neck. And it's only a matter of time before it grows large enough to snap it. Hmm. Or you see, I am that snake. No, oh, really? I'm the one who makes sure that the next promise is kept. Sir, you do seem injured. Do you require medical attention? I do know the healing arts. All right, then. Hmm. Well, I don't think anything good can come of lies and broken promises. Then choose your words carefully, Billy. Many before you have said the same. Pledged oaths to uphold the law. Made promises they can't keep. Yet still, their words are blood. And the more they speak, the more they bleed. They call me Reigns. Uh, I keep Rains. the law and I kill anyone who defies it. You know, in a way, you almost sound like a vigilant of Stendar. Although it's not the law, particularly, that we are here to enforce. So tell me, what does this cave have to do with keeping the law? 
A group of guards decided to forfeit their lives by breaking their oaths to serve and turning to banditry. The Fetchers probably figured this cave would make for a good hideout. Especially after they found the secret entrance. Palma are vicious though. Worse than criminal scum. Those Oathbreakers didn't stand a chance. All they left were bones. <laughs> I routinely run into bandits and Falmer and the like. It is the duty of a vigilant to quell all sorts of evil in its many forms and faces. You could follow me. Yeah, like running into old friends, I bet. Lorik is always hang out in groups. Too cowardly to go at it alone. Still, it seems we've got some things in common, sweet. Indeed. You wouldn't be here otherwise. All right. You might be worth following. But if you want to kill Falma, first we need to find a way in. Hmm, so this is... This should be good. Is this why we've been standing here? You've been standing here this time because you couldn't figure out the way in? Interesting. Get him! Kill him! Did I ever tell you how breathtaking I look when I'm choking a bandit? Find one, and I'll show you. Hmm, very well. All right, where is the door? Looks like one here. And there appears to be no lever. Found any lawbreakers? I hope they squealed when you stuck them. There seems to be no lever to enter. Oh no, what's happening? I'm starting to become translucent. I'm still here. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that now. Victory is yours. I A submit. Fight. I'm not sure why. Hm. But I guess this is an affliction that I'll have to deal with for the rest of my life, however long that might be. Alright, let's see if we can find a way in. And I think I'm going to need help. Mighty Stendar, grant me your wisdom. Help us find a way this should be good. into the door and beyond. Remember, leave the tongue. Let them bear witness. All right. Stendar has answered my I'm prayer. Here this mushroom cluster and the brazier. This is the way in. And not what? All right, I'm tired of this translucency. There, it's restored me to solid form. Let's go. What's going on in here? Falmer. Come on. No. Even the ebony war axe doesn't seem to be helping. I summon a sword of pure light. Let me deal with this one since you two are occupied. There, he's down. That'll teach you. What's this? A sky shard hidden away. And I've collected all six from this region. Amazing, isn't it, Rain? The power 
<laughs> if someone like you could wield it. What can this, I do for you, This friend? world would tremble. At all. Could you... I'm still here. Could you let me out? Thank you. Alright, so we have two missions here. We're looking for the orcish mace of your former roommate. And whatever this is, Reigns has us doing. Uh oh. Come on! You can't win this! Injuring me. It's not easy for someone to do. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. There. Good work. Come on, let's go. Oh! Nicely done. <laughs> Something. The three of us. <laughs> and it took <laughs> more. Careful, Reigns. I'll have your head. That'll teach him. More. And it looks like there's someone there fighting. All right, you two. Take care of them. you're really going to have to consider a, a one-handed weapon. All right. You've done it. Hello, citizen. We're with the Vigilant of Stendar. Are you all right? Here, let me illuminate the area. Thank you. I thought that beast would be the end of me. No, Lawbreaker. I am the end of you. What? Help me! Do something! Die. <laughs> Pathetic. The boy nearly died of shock before my blades managed to drink him. I was going to let him live, but thought better of it. He was too frail. He would have made for a poor witness. Now, where should we hunt next? There are more lawbreakers where this one came from. <laughs> well, I would have preferred if he was a Daedra worshipper, but I suppose justice is justice. I guess that was the last of your lawbreakers. The last of these ones. But there's plenty more. And I will let the ground drink what my blades do not. Hmm. Tell me, though, what happened to your eye? But one of my ancestors was a felica, and his poisonous blood turned my right eye green. Ugh. A vial of liquid nightshade poured down my right eye, burned the poison out. I see. I thought it was just a, a common war injury. Hmm.
That seems a little excessive. A cat eye is a useful tool. Two cat eyes, maybe, seeing as criminals cling to the darkness. But I had mismatched eyes, Scream, and it was easy to choose the blood that was pure. <laughs> I see. You said that the god was too frail to let live. What did you mean by that? Simple. You need a witness. Someone to spread the word about the bad Dunmer with the sharp daggers. First you lop off the fetch's little finger. Make them think you're letting them off easy. Then you do the thumb. They'll never hold the blade again. Or count the lizards before they hatch. If they're male, I like to castrate them. What? You don't want these bandits bleeding like a pack of marsh rats. I'll burn off their ears. I'll scoop out their eyes. But the one thing I'll never take is their tongues. Well... I was considering you for the Vigilant of Stendar, but after that admonition, I don't think that's going to be possible. Castrating men, that is just beyond what we stand for. Hmm. That's disgusting. You're disgusting. Such cruelty is unbecoming. It's a cruel world, Fetcher. The sooner you realize that, the sooner you're willing to do what it takes to uphold the law. It isn't like in the city. Out here, they outnumber us five to one. There is no room for pity. I'm, I'm going to ask this question, and I, I know I'm going to regret it. So you strip males down, and that's getting a little too personal for me. What's the problem? Never dipped your hand down a male's trousers. What? I assure you, it's perfectly safe. Unless it's a Khajiit. Those are barbed. <laughs> Painful at first if you aren't used to it. <laughs> Or so I hear. I don't take. I give. Oh. By the divines, that was really too much information. Alright, um... You must have some knowledge of restoration if you can keep them alive. I don't use magic, if that's what you're saying. I use scrolls. Not for myself, of course. I never get hurt. Can't say the same for them. Hmm. Let's go back to my earlier questions. Fine. Hmm. I want to know more about you. This isn't the time for questions with long answers, sweet. Save it for the inn. The inn? Why are you so obsessed with keeping the law? Why are criminals so intent on breaking it? Why is the law upheld within the city walls but outside anarchy reigns? I keep the law in the caves and on the roads. I'm a response to a problem, a cure. I hold the promise to the people that the Yars refuse to keep. The bandits, the guards, the warlocks, and the farmer. They made me. Hmm. Still, most people take to vigilantism following some personal loss. I'm an orphan, Scree. Yeah, maybe the farmer got the caravan my folks rode in on. Maybe it was bandits. 
but it was probably just the cold. All right, I think we're done here. I'm not going to ask you to join us. And I do not want to hunt any bounties with you and stand by while you murder. I mean, how, how do I know? I mean, supposedly this man has done evil, but I don't sense it. He's not a Daedra worshiper. I think we're in conflict with our interests. Good day. Fine. All right, we need to get Yala's mace. What? What? Is someone there? I bet there is. I could get Yala's mace without any more interruptions. Here it is. Jala or Yala's orcish mace, you decide. I'm still here. All right, Atar. I think she'll be pleased. Come on. Let's head back to solitude. I'm still here. All right. We're back. It's been quite the journey. So this is your old home here, as I recall. Ah, I think she just left. This way. You look like you Yala. need an apple to keep you healthy, <laughs> a tomato to keep you strong. Surely you need one or the other. I'm sure, but I have something that you might need. Here is your orcish mace. Thank you. Here, this is for you. All right. Good day. Come Thank back you. when you figure out how to spend money. <laughs> it was never really about spending. All right, Atar. Your roommate is happy. We've done the work of Stendar. At least I think we what have. What can I do for you, friend? It's time for us to find more of his work. Come on, let's go.